Good evening, everyone. The 55th annual Coca-Cola International Frisbee Tournament started in Calumet this afternoon. Twelve teams played in the first round today, and one team in particular might be playing their last few Guts games. The Copula Bandits have been playing Guts since Hall of Famer Gerard Tutts Newman created the team in the early 1980s. They've been the biggest name in the past 55 years of the sport. They played the Keweenaw Mountain Lodge in this match and used their experience to beat the young guys on the other side. After this weekend, the local veterans who have been together for many years are going to put their gloves away and hang up their cleats, but want to do it in style in their hometown. Our team is, um I think we're giving it up after this tournament, but we'll probably still play or at least show up. But it is a young man's game. I'm not, you know, it's, uh, I mean, we're all 50. I love this sport. It's shaped my life. I mean, I mean, there's always been stuff more important at it than once in a while, but uh, it's, it's been where I've traveled to, and it's, you know, I don't know, it's everything, man. The Bandits will play in the winner's bracket Sunday morning against Blame the Dog at 10 a.m. And this team hasn't won in two and a half years, and it would be only fitting if they go out on top. The tournament should wrap up at around 5 o'clock at Agassi Field. And let's go to northern Ontonagon County, where there really is a light at the end of the tunnel in the Miner's Revenge mountain bike race. Here's the way the one-third to one-half mile portion of the Adventure Mind company event. And mountain bikers had their choice of a two-lap, 12-mile race, three-lap, 18-mile race, or four laps in 24 miles. About 90 people took the challenge. Sheboygan, Wisconsin's Brian Motter won the 24-miler in one hour and 57 minutes. Very grueling after lots of rain Friday night. It was a lot muddier than last year. Um, so I actually rode a different bike this year. Uh, last year I rode a full suspension bike. This year I rode a hardtail. So I thought it would collect a little less mud and be a little lighter weight going up the climbs. I took one crash out there. That was a pretty good one, uh, but it was a it was a great race. We wanted to eliminate one series of up and down hills. It was kind of annoying, more than challenging. It's a not very fun part of it. And then make the race different, making everybody ride through mine backwards. I think it changed the course up, makes it more exciting. And a few people had the thrill of the victory, but others collected the agony of defeat. The knees and the arms from various collisions on the course. Marquette's Cooper Dendill won the women's 18 mile in just under two hours, two minutes. And downhillers were not left out in the cold. They had their own adventures on a course that may have lasted only a minute in race time, but also had the thrills and spills. And one jump that required a quick left a few feet later. About 20 riders braved the twists and turns and some sketchy rock sections. And we had some, uh, we had some baseball in uh, Lance and go to the fourth. Bases loaded and Ishpeming would pop out to short to end the inning. Hidoki Range led eight to four at that point. Now some offense. Marcus Lipsky will ground out to Griffin Swanson. Then two rally to the plate. One scores and Ava Asgard gets the other at the plate. But Pinocchi still leads. And then in the sixth, Pinocchi puts it away as Seth Cole singles to right and brings home Drew Dobb as they lead 12 to 4 at that point. And that would be your final heading into tomorrow's game. 12 to 4, Pinocchi beats Ishpeming. And here's some scores from the 9 to 10 minor baseball. Nagani beats, uh, Marquette beats Nagani 7 to 5. And then Portage Lake beats Baraga 14 to 2. And then Keweenaw beats Pinocchi Range 18 to 5. And then we have 11 to 12 major baseball. Iron County loses to Norway 10-0. And then Iron Mountain beats Kingsford 2-1. And then Munising would lose to Gladstone 6-2. There were a lot of runs in that one, a lot of hits. And then Tri-County would beat Escanaba 6-0. Uh, Dwayne Englund struck out 14 batters with tossing a two-hitter. Plus he had a solo home run and two-run single. And then we also had... Uh, Nagani beating Marquette 14-3, and Baraga County beating Pinocchi Range 8-7. And then also Pinocchi Range beat Ishpeming 12-4 in that matchup. And then we also have 13-14 baseball, and Ishpeming won, beat Marquette 10-6. 
and then some also some softball at this time. Nagani beating Ishpeming 13 to 7. Kingsford lost to Gladstone 7 to 4. And also Kingsford beat Norway 14 to 4. And Escanaba beat Iron Mountain North 17 to nothing. And then Iron Mountain North would fall to Kingsford 10 to 6 in that matchup as well. And then so we have some senior softball, and Keweenaw would beat Baraga County 15 to 12. And then Legion baseball scores, Alpena beats Escanaba 4 to 3, but then Escanaba would rally back and win 9 to 3 against Petoskey. And also some more Ishpeming beat Monsalona 11 to nothing. Ishpeming beat Sioux Ontario 12 to 8. And Alpena beat Marquette Blues 7 to 1.